Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors. And as you can tell, we are in the car. We're, we're uh, traveling at night. Um, I'm actually headed to the uh, Southern Bushcraft Rendezvous, the VU2. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I didn't get to do the first one last year. So this is the second um, uh, gathering of this type in Mississippi, and it's my first one. So, um, you know, just stick around with the video, and later on when we get there, uh, you'll get to see a lot of familiar faces. So, thank you guys for joining me. And over here we've got three of the finest gentlemen. That's Chris, one of Woodcraft, Donnie Mr. Pavolini, Donnie Pavolini, who has sexy camp over here. That's right. <laughs> and Mr. <laughs> Mutton and T and his wife. And over here is Mark. Oh wait, Mark, you're not here, man. Look what yeah, you're where missing. Is Mark? <laughs> and all the children. Well, not children. <laughs> Aiden, did you want? Uh, it makes me appreciate the walnut carvers quite a bit. No. <laughs> no, thank you. A locust. You can hold it with the camera. Oh, yeah, can you imagine trying to call yeah. black locusts? When they were flying back and crop the This one is for the cackling. So they like they're fighting. We did, like, we did watch them fly to each other. Like, yeah. It was pretty neat. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. What? Thanks for coming. The one and only. Are you serious? Well, look at that. I'm not going to want to use it. <laughs> this is going to go on the wall or something. No, I'll use it. That's what it's there for. There's always wow, another stick of wood. Well, I appreciate it, man. All right, guys, so sorry I haven't been able to do much filming. We've been talking and enjoying the weather, but uh, there's my setup. That's my uh, hammock and um, tarp, and uh, everybody's just kind of scattered around. My neighbor there is no one other than Mr. Uh, Stan from the Deep South Experience. What? He's, uh, we're neighbors today. And uh, there's the lake, beautiful lake. Very excellent weather, couldn't ask for a better uh, temperature and uh, we're just kind of getting ready to have um, to have some dinner so there we go there's uh, some of the folks there just getting some of the fire ready for their food and I think uh, there's some other folks over there anyway I'm gonna get my uh, dinner started and uh, we'll go ahead and eat Don't matter. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> he knew I was there. He's, he was the guy I was leasing the property for. Yeah. Yeah. You got your pocket knife? have no sense. In... Oh. I know. I got a pocket knife. All right, guys, so we are in day number two of the uh, Southern Bushcraft Rendezvous, and today I am visiting. This guy's campsite, you probably recognize him. This is Ranger Cookie. Hello everybody, I'm Ranger Cookie and I'm at my campsite at the VU2. So, That's right. And I'm if you don't know his channel, I'll definitely post the link to that. But we're taking a tour right here of the the cookie cave or the cookie setup. He's got his tarp and uh, what, what I'm interested in is this, this uh, chair right here. What do you call it? It's called the bush chair. There's different ways you can make this bush chair. I would like to make it this way. Um, it's a TP frame with a sewn in. This is a tarp from Walmart. 
and we took it and cut it in half. It mm -hmm. makes two. It's a five by seven. Yeah. Sew it pretty good. Double stitch. Double stitch the sucker up here. Nice. Make a um, what you call a uh, like a sleeve. Yeah, a yeah. hanger. Right. This is new to the bush chair. I heard a lot of people. I would have never thought about that. And this way you can lift it up, go down, oh, and it's a simple little knot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that keeps you from falling, too. Exactly. Okay. All right, this is, right here is my Molly 2 system. This is kind of like a chair, camping chair, yeah. or? i share what this is. This is my tool shed. Ah. Okay. I have my food. I have a tar tree, some aspirin. Yeah. You know, basic things you might need. Oh, wow. Now I put it on your back. How, have you actually weighed this? No, I never weighed it. <laughs> now I put it on your back. This weighed as much as it's my backpack. Probably, what, 20 pounds, 25? Yeah. Okay, that's not so bad. That's actually not so bad. I wanted to show the rubber band crossbow. This goes in my vest. It's out right now because the kids wanted to shoot arrows. Well, that's for the kids later on. We're going to hunt kids whenever they start getting rambunctious. We're going to see if we can hit them. That's neat. And the closer the bands, the more powerful you can shoot. What is that? <sighs> that's called a $15 kit. Kit. Nice. Uh, you got a flashlight, up. a towel, three batteries, clo uh, clothes hangers, Right here we have the alcohol burner. This is a little starter kit. Uh, see if people like to see if they can start fires with this type of stuff. Yeah. We have a box of band-aids. Always useful. We have a pair of gloves. Nice. We have a little twine. We have a little knife that you can use to cut whatever. Oh, it's perfect for uh, food prepping. Yeah, camp making base with yeah. straps. Zip ties. So if you don't want to use your cord. Yeah. We got two bandanas. We have a little cook kit with salt and pepper. Yeah. Snare wire, whatever you want to do, make it camp. And a tarp for instant shelter, nine by 12. Yeah, kind of like a, one of those survival ones. A lighter that's been uh, so you won't waste your fuel. And alcohol, you got two types. Oh, sweet. And it's red, both of them full, and a small fire steam, whatever you call these things. Fire steam rods. Fire rod. Fire rod. Nice. I hope you enjoy this little kit. I, I really appreciate it, I sure will. And this is the Ranger Cookie Kit from the $15. $15 for all that for 15 bucks. All right, guys, so we just saw Cookies Camp, and now you probably know this funky looking guy. Hello, everybody. Wookie out looking there in guy. YouTube land. That's right, it's me. <laughs> and this is family right here. This is basically the Manland land. Right, this is, and, this and is it's kind of junky right now because yeah. we've got trash bags. So this that's the setup. And he's got, let's see if we can zoom into that. That's his calendar because he's planning on staying. What you said, six, seven months, you're going to stay out here? At least. You say, seeing yes. survive, you're going to survive. I've been here long enough because the calendar is actually out of date. I think it's a 2010. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. And uh, you said you're going to survive off of nuts? Whatever cookie has to breed me. Right. Time time. Okay. Uh, we had some pumpkin pie filling in a big number 10 can. Yep. It was delicious. And so. you probably recognize that hat there. Yes. Well, what do you have on the side of your head? This this is cool. What do you side? What do you have on there? Uh, th this one here. Okay, this is the muddy tiger. There you go. Hat, so hat we got we got thing. matching hats, kind of. There's yeah, we've got the I've got the official. This is this is you cannot get this from anywhere else. <laughs> Man, your lens is moving in there. That's cool. Yeah. Whoa. It's uh it it got, kind of stabilizes. So you're walking and it stabilizes just a little bit better. Wait, I'm yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be right back and I'll let Man Man talk to you. I told you I'd be back. Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from you know where. And right now, we're on the Muddy Tiger Outdoors channel. That's right. And I'm sure you guys know Manland, the, the channel and all that kind of stuff. But I'll definitely post the link to that. Ain't no problem at all. I always love to do my little selfies. <laughs> Especially on other people's channels. You know? That's right. Cool. And so it's nothing really new under the sun. You guys know how to set up parts. 
but I'll just show you a different, unique twist on the way I do it. And there's all kinds of ways for setting up tarps, and this is not about the configuration, such as an A-frame or diamond shelter. And this is where we're going to put a uh, trucker's hitch in here. Make a little loop. Run the port back up through here. We have a loop. We want to make this loop a couple, three feet out, depending on what kind of cord it is. This is paracord and it does stretch, so you need to bring your loop out a little bit. What this does is allows you to tension your ridge line. You get a good talk. With the color coordinated cordage and the specific lengths of cordage. So if you know what kind of tarp you're going to use, and you can use any kind of tarp, it could be seal nylon, canvas, whatever, or a cheap Walmart plastic tarp like man, uh, uh, like Cheap Walmart plastic. Down to the teens. And I don't have anything else. I'll add pine straw into this layer right here. Yeah. And fluff it up. I got two layers there. I go between them on top. As long as it's not stabbing me in the back, but I want that much underneath, man. This all folds up to probably what? Three pounds? That's it. The under quilts are nice. They're expensive. And if I'm not living in Arctic conditions, I don't think I need it. Well guys, as you can tell, it's the uh, evening, uh, late evening, and um, I kind of have to keep reminding myself to record because there's so many people to talk to, so many things to do and see, and I mean, it's it's a blast here. Uh, I'm glad I came, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. There's so many great people to talk to, um, so many channels to mention, so many new people to meet. Um, you know, you've seen Chris, Wyndham Woodcraft, Manland, uh, Ranger Cookie, uh, the Parker Ridges, Miss Chris and, and Jason, uh, Mutton Sea, so many, so many guys. I don't want to leave anybody out, but there's just so many um, uh, great people that uh, I'm getting to meet and, and uh, you know, talk to and interact, and, and I'm very, very happy that, um, that I got to do this. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of relaxing here in the trunk of my um, uh, car, uh, just enjoying a little bit of time to myself, uh, making a little small meal. I don't want to eat too much before going to bed. Um, and that's the other thing that we everybody's just brought a lot of food for, for everybody. Uh, yesterday, Miss uh, Sue from uh, uh, Sue Survival, she, um, she made the greatest... Um, chicken and dumplings so that was awesome and um, Miss Chris Park Ridge also made some uh, beef stew and that was great uh, and uh, also Brian he made some uh, 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 little uh, corn fritters or corn uh, kind of like a cornbread fritter that was delicious and everybody's just cooking and I kind of feel bad about it because I didn't know it was going to be like this you know such a, a, a communal uh, thing so you know, uh, it's, it's definitely very nice, and, and you know, of course, everybody's gifting things and uh, you know, things to trade and, 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 and crafts and tools and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's pretty neat, and and I'm definitely enjoying myself. Now today is the second day. Um, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna head out. Pretty much everybody's gonna head out tomorrow because it's the last day. I'm gonna head out sort of early, uh, just enough time to maybe have a little bit of breakfast and say goodbye to everybody and uh, you know just uh, enjoy a little bit of a uh, time with with everybody uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed the very very uh small amount of recording that i've made and uh, i'll tell you what it is tough to record when you're enjoying yourself so much and talking to so many people and uh, seeing so many things and just participating everybody's doing something everybody's you know just interacting with one another so it's a great atmosphere and that's part of the reason why I haven't recorded so uh, I apologize for that but you know it is what it is so
That Donnie did a beautiful job with that sign, didn't he? He did an excellent job. I don't know how he does that with all them crayons. <laughs> There's the Parker Ridges, all of them. There's uh, this is a rare opportunity to see Mr. Jacko in action. Yeah, film on film. <laughs> yeah. That's right. There's Mr. Mutt right there. They're chucking up gang signs. I gotta get me some bones done this right? That's the only problem with this line. Duct tape. My Libra brother. Woohoo! I'm sorry. I still think he's hurting you. I'm just gonna. Hey, you're gonna miss it. Alright, kids, let's go. Come on, Come on. Kevin, you gotta move back in, Bubba. Move in some more, Kevin. We need to sketch you a little more. I think right we're Kevin's actually Kevin on this side is yeah. as far is as far out as he needs to be. Alright, right. Okay. Right, we're actually rolling, so we're gonna count to three and we're gonna say what, who two? Yeah. Say so you suck, girls. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, y'all ready? Ready. ready? ready. On three. One, two, three. Boom, two. There we go. I missed it. Two. We need to do something else. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Come on. Let's bring the big guns out. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, we're done. Everybody, let's go. You got about 25 seconds. Hi, I need to. I know. Take the lens off. I need to hurt. Let's go. All right. All right, you've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! All right.